I've been thinking, how important is potassium on a ketogenic diet? You guys come back and we'll discuss. wanted to talk a little bit about potassium today because you guys, potassium is an essential mineral that is important for maintaining proper electrolyte balance in the body. This is particularly important on a ketogenic diet as the body may excrete more potassium in the urine as a result of increased ketone production. Low potassium levels can lead to muscle cramps fatigue, and other symptoms. So it is extremely important for individuals following a ketogenic diet to consume foods that are high in potassium. So what foods are high in potassium and what can you eat on the ketogenic diet that contain potassium? Well, there are several foods that are high in potassium that can be included in the ketogenic diet, such as avocados, spinach, Broccoli. Harry likes broccoli. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah. And so do I. And that's a good thing. Um, salmon. So you guys, three ounces of salmon contains a good amount of potassium. So start eating salmon. Chicken breast. Yes. Chickens have potassium, you guys. Eggs. One large egg contains about 63 grams of potassium. Berries like raspberries and blackberries and blueberries are also a good source of potassium. Now you guys, it's important to note that a ketogenic diet is in high fats, low carbohydrates, so potassium intake may be lower than on a standard diet. However, by including the above foods that I talked about that are ketogenic in your diet, you can make sure you are getting enough potassium. Now, I also wanted to know and let you guys know what types of potassium are safe to take orally on a ketogenic diet. So, potassium supplements are available in several forms, including potassium chloride, potassium citrate, and potassium gluconate. These supplements are considered safe to take orally when used as directed by a healthcare professional. You guys really, really, really uh, need to note that taking high doses of potassium supplements can be harmful and may cause side effects such as stomach upset, nausea, and diarrhea. Additionally, if you have certain medical conditions such as a kidney disease or are taking certain medications, you should always, always Consult with a healthcare professional before taking any potassium supplements to make sure there is no counterindication and it's safe for you and your body. Hey everybody, how is everybody doing? Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. For those of you who are longtime viewers, you guys know we were on the road today coming back from Prescott, Arizona. For those of you who are new, that's what we were doing. You guys, I'm gonna show some sights of just driving and talking in the car on the way back home. Here we'll insert those. Good morning, everyone. We are driving home. Say hey, Harry. Hey, Harry. <laughs> well, Sally's all toasty. She's all going. Yeah. It cold. is a crispy yeah. cold. How cold is that? 27 degrees. Yeah, so it was about 20 or 19 when we tore down this morning. Yeah, we tore down early. We got, woke up at 7, no, 6.30. Got out by 7 outside. Oh, so we got outside. Started putting everything. Last night we stowed everything, so all we needed to do was... Um, Sons of bullets. Harry, quit being a cameraman. I'm the film person now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the film person. So I, I am at your disposal anytime. <laughs> no green M and M's though. Okay, well I'm just showing. I've no M and M's. Period. You watch. We got a. We got a sunset. Sure, you're free. It is crisp and clear here in the valley. Yes, it is. Show you guys everything out here. We're gassed up, so we're on the way home. Our Starlink device and setup and everything is supposed to be coming today, even though it's Sunday. 
Sorry, you guys, the sun, we're going right into the sun right now. Anyway, Starlink is coming today, so we've got to get there. And it's weird because it's FedEx and... Uh, I know what Starlink is. Starlink is uh, Elon Musk's satellite uh, internet connection for the RV. So we'll be and able to... House. And for your house. But we're getting it for the RV. Sorry I've got shadowing on my face, but we're going right into the sun. Anyway, you guys, we've got about 95 miles to get home. When we get home, we will uh, do an official opening and all that good stuff, but it's a beautiful day. Like I said, it's 23 degrees, sorry. The sun was on it. But uh, anyway, you guys, I just wanted to share where we're going and what we're doing, and we will get this day started. Oh, something I am doing today. I'm doing a 48 hour fast today. I decided Good luck, that- Good Wendy. <laughs> I decided, what'd you say, dear? Good luck, I'm not. He's not. I'm not. I'm not doing it. He's not. He's not. He's been up no, too early. It. It's too much for me. I gotta wait till I lose some poundage first. <laughs> well, I'm doing it because I'm not hungry at all. And that food that we had last night was so filling. I thought, what better way to do something when we're traveling than I don't have to worry about it at all. We've got our black coffee. Woo! With our loving it on keto. Mugs. If you guys want one of these or you want a coffee mug, go down on the link below and it's an Etsy site that you can go to one of our wonderful loyal viewers make some and it helps support her and her daughter. So anyway, you guys, if I see anything, I'm looking for deer and antelope. The valley out here has a lot of herds of antelope and they come down in the winter time out here. So, oh yeah, look at the snow. Well, we're looking at us right now, Harry. So... Anyway, you guys, how is everybody doing? Are you guys doing OMAD too? Or are you guys doing uh, two meals or three meals a day? Are you doing keto, ketovore, carnivore, or whatever suits your fancy keto-wise like Harry and I are? We're not planning anything keto, ketovore, or carnivore. You did? <laughs> but uh, last night's meal was definitely more uh Absolutely keto board. If oh, we hadn't had great, the salad, man. it would have been um, it was so good. It was. It was delicious. What was your favorite thing last night that you had? The only thing is the steak was a little tough. You know, that steak was tough. Okay, look, I'll give it to you in order. Okay. Snails were number one. Yep. I really liked them. They were really good. Yep. Um, number two would be. I think it would be the. Shrimp. shrimp that was mine yep i like that a lot yep yeah then i'd say the next thing would have been the, the like the chicken say i like the salmon that was my I would third say the steak the steak tasted great it was a little tough it was tough steak was last because seriously yeah. that blackened chicken didn't look very good but it was and yummy I'd say fourth would be the, the lobster tail oh i forgot about the lobster tail actually the lobster wasn't as good as i used to remember it no. and i think because all we ever liked with the lobster was the garlic butter. Yeah, pretty much. Lobster it is not a whole lot of flavor. No, and those huge shrimp had just better, better density to them. They weren't rubbery. They were absolutely delicious. And that salmon was awesome. Yeah. So it was absolutely delicious too. So oh, I'm gonna turn it around and show the mountains. Yep. Our truck and our other car 
right in the general area going there, electrical problems with both cars. The only time we had electrical problems. This thing said, the truck all of a sudden said we were going 120 miles an hour. And we, we turned off to go to the roadside rest. It said it was going 120, the tachometer. And uh, so we pulled over, waited, tried to figure it out. We were on a ride, just checking out the area, going for a ride. We were gonna go to Cottonwood or Sedona or something like that. And then our little uh, tracker that we had, what happened with that? Something crazy happened with that too. Engine light. Engine light came on and was starting to act weird and everything when we pulled into that rest stop. And there were, every time we've gone there, I don't even like going there anymore because every time something weird with the cars and so many cars there had engine problems or broken down or truck trucks and stuff. So, you know, Sedona area has major vortexes that are world famous. People go there, spiritual places um, where people get married there and, and everything else. But I really think there's a vortex here at uh, the roadside rest. So it's crazy. Just want to share the story. And then when we got home, Everything was fine. Yeah. Everything was fine. When we got out of there, and so I, I said, Will, we need to turn around and try to get home so we can get the mechanics to look at it. Sorry, I'm bouncing. The road's bouncy. But uh, yeah, it was very, very odd. So, little tidbit, little story for Wendy. You can tell we are at a lower elevation now because there are Suaro cactus. They do not live above 5,000 Feet. Matter of fact, there is a Suaro cactus here. No, it's, I think it's, is it three or five? <clears throat> now you got me all confused. Anyway, there's one that, you, the last one going through this pass um, at the hill, and now you come over and they're all over the desert here, you guys. So we like coming off roading through here. There's a, a exit that's called Table Mesa staging ground and camping area they're blowing out the freeway here they're going to make a new uh widen this freeway which is nice because it... so i just looked it up and neither harry nor i were right between four and forty five hundred feet four thousand and forty five hundred feet they're claiming higher ground than they once had and i'm sure it has to do with um the ground and how many and all that good stuff but anyway we are in Black Canyon now. <clears throat> We've got about, what, 50 some miles to Phoenix. So super easy drive, perfect timing, no crowded roads, very few pickup trucks. I mean, you know, big rigs. So we're making good time, you guys. But uh, I just wanted to give you that little tidbit of information. But we also um, had to get home. We had to get up very early. Well, for us, it's been early because we're retired now. We had, to, we had to get up at 6.30 and basically hit the road because FedEx on a Sunday was going to be here by 10.30 in the morning. So we needed to make sure we were here because they were delivering Starlink. We beat them by 20 minutes and we got the Starlink. So everything's cool there. We cleaned out our, uh, the refrigerator with our Vita. We um, unhitched her and did all of those good things. I brought in the laundry. Um, I threw the laundry in to did a load. Um, but tomorrow we've got to go out and vacuum and mop the floors and dust and clean the bathroom and those kinds of things. We were in snow camping and that did track in a lot more dirt than normal. So we're going to go out and do that because on the 27th, we're taking our grandson down to Tombstone, Arizona. So we're really excited about that too. Now, talking earlier with everybody in the car, I thought I was going to do a 48 hour fast today. Nope, did not happen. I, I'm very tired and I got very hungry and driving the big rig down some of the mountain roads um, is a little bit stressful. I see. I see, big rigs, all those things. So I just needed to not preemptively do a 48 hour fast. I wasn't ready. So we went out to dinner tonight because we looked at the clock and said, oh my gosh, we need to go eat. And I realized I didn't want the leftovers that I had left and I didn't have anything taken out 
of the freezer either. So we went out to eat and Harry's gonna insert our dinner here. Hey everyone, I changed my mind. I am super hungry and I'm not gonna finish, uh, I'm not gonna do a 48 fast. I'm gonna do it tomorrow and plan for it ahead of time. We have been very busy. We got home, we cleaned our Vita. I've been doing the laundry. We've been doing all kinds of things. Our Starlink came and I just decided I really wanted some fish. I wanted to get some salmon and some delicious fish. Um, so Harry and I are at the Blue Water Grill. Um, it is, I'll show you what my, um, I'm at my 40, I'm, I'm at my 24 hour mark right now. And we just placed our order and I'll share what we are having. And then I'll push the button the minute I take my um, first bite, but I'm going to do my 48 hour fast after this meal is done. I, it's just going to make it easier for me that I plan it. I get very stressed in the car sometime and driving with the rig and leaving early with the cold and potential ice on the road. I just was very, very stressed today. So anyway, you guys, I'll share what we have when we get it. Yes, indeed. Okay, you guys, we ordered two black and fish tacos, no tortillas, and then we ordered the gluten-free crab dip with cucumber. So this is the crab dip, and this is Harry's black and fish tacos, and these are small plates, happy hour, and then, right here, then for our dinner, Harry gets a ribeye, and I get salmon. And then we ordered just a side salad with that that comes with it and said no croutons or anything. So I'm very excited about this. I want to try this uh, crab dip, you guys. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Look at that. It is gluten-free. There's no bread in it whatsoever. Crab, cream cheese, cheese, and deliciousness. So, you guys, that is steaming. That is Smoking hot. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta eat now. Well, you gotta try that though. You gotta try that. <laughs> We've had these before. Oh, here. yeah, they're good. They're really good. Put a little bit, squeeze a lime. A little bit of the tomatillo sauce. Minus the shell. Minus the tortilla. Everything yeah, else is right on there. my salmon and his delicious looking steak and I'm telling you delicious looking steak just came and they gave us a bowl full of lettuce which you know we're gonna pick at but not really eat this is that, the Pie La Resistance I think I want that piece right there okay. that the salmon I'll split you, you half want. how about half for half yeah that's fine yeah. half for half yeah this is the salad they gave us yep it's the salad so. I stripped it of all the all those and can you tell me why I'm not gonna tell you why you gotta tell me why you think I'm not eating the tomatoes anyway you guys gotta eat now Anyway, you guys, I pushed the button after my fasting and I am doing a 48 hour planned fast. Yes, I planned it this time. Um, so I am going to be doing that. If you Good guys want to come along with me, hop on the bandwagon and see how long you can go. Hey, anything that you can do. If you've been doing an 18 hour, try to push it to 20. If you've done a 20 hour fast, try to push it to 24. If you've done a 24, try to push it to 30, etc., and so forth until you get to that 48 hour mark. Yes, 
I'm going to try to do them on a regular basis, maybe weekly, maybe bi-weekly, but I really felt good. I had a push of energy. I felt really good. Speaking of energy, we didn't go to bed till 1.30 a.m. and it was cold in the back room in the bed. Tossed and turned and then the alarm went off at 6 and then 6.30 and we had to get up. So I'm a little bit tired, Harry's tired. Like I said, yeah, so sure. it was just easier to say, you know what? We just did our regular 23-hour fast today, our OMAD meal. I was craving seafood, and that seafood was absolutely delicious. Yes, oh, it, it was. was. really good. And the good news about it is I had my potassium. I had that big old piece of salmon. I split that with Harry, so he had some potassium, too. Anyway, well, you, you got guys, half my steak. Yes, I did. Well, I didn't get half. I got about a third. I took oh, about that, that was your fault. Well, no, I didn't want any more than that because oh, I right, had the right. fish tacos. I had the black and cod fish tacos that were amazing. So did I. Amazing. So they were good. Yep. I've been craving seafood since we had those huge shrimp at Murphy's mm -hmm. in in Prescott. I thought, you know, let's go to the seafood restaurant. Let's get some good food. So I asked about the crab dip, and he swore to me that it was gluten-free. There was no breadcrumbs, no hidden bread or anything like that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. I don't feel sick. I don't feel queasy. So I'm thinking we did a good job. Yes, indeed. Hey, everybody. We are going to go ahead. Blah, blah, blah. I can't even talk right. We are going to go ahead and close out the video for tonight. So if you have not done so already, please remember to like. If you guys give us a thumbs up and like our video, that throws us out to the YouTube universe so other folks like you can find us. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Ring that little bell so you get notified every time one of our new videos gets uploaded so that you can watch it right away. You guys, we truly appreciate you. And we thank you for your loyalty and for all of the comments. So keep the comments coming, you guys. And we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Sally, are you in bed? People want to see you. There she is. Was Mama going to give you something? Yes, I am. Uh-oh. There is something to give her. Give her some chicken. I'll give her some chicken. Can you say goodnight? You gonna say goodnight? You gonna say goodnight? Hmm? She says, I don't see any of my carnivore dog here. It's because it's in the trailer. It's oh, that was a goodnight. <laughs> she says, it's because you're just giving me chicken, Mom. Mm -hmm. She's not excited. Okay, say goodnight. You're so funny.